Hello and welcome to A Nerdy Journey. Today, I'm posting a video that's a bit different from the other film-related content that I normally post. Back in 2020, my roommates and I got very bored during quarantine and decided to figure out what is the best way to cook a chicken tender. And then that spiraled into this video and many others that we started to record. So this video was actually recorded back in 2020, and that's why you'll notice my COVID beard and all that other fun stuff going on. So I hope you enjoy and we will have many more of these coming up soon. Hello everyone, happy Easter 2020. Today, we're gonna ask the question that nobody wants to know the answer to. What is the best way to cook chicken? That was frozen. <laughs> you didn't tell me it wasn't frozen, what the? Today, we are using five different methods to cook the chicken. The oven, the microwave, a pressure cooker, a toaster oven, and an air fryer. Which of these will cook the chicken the best? Let's find out. It's all gonna be good, because it's chicken. As you can see, we can't. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Can you just bring out the chicken? I'm hungry. All right, round one. Chicken, chicken, chicken. Okay, so how, oh, oh, that's a, ooh, ooh, that's okay. chicken. Okay. This one has a nice crunchy mm. exterior and a nice juicy interior. It is very crunchy. It's crunchy, but it has the right amount of juice inside. Like, I don't feel like it was overcooked. It tastes like if KFC made chicken where the crunchy part wasn't like a skin layer, this is what it would taste like. You're absolutely right about that skin layer. <laughs> yeah, it's good enough to bite again. Okay, yes. I mean, I've almost finished it. I probably should have because we're going to have a lot of chicken right now. Yeah, that's fair. If I had to guess, I would say it's... I'm gonna say oven. I was gonna say oven, but just to be different, I'm gonna say air fryer. <laughs> okay. Because I think it's definitely too crunchy to be the microwave. Can I get the chicken back? Sure. No, put it back on the plate. On the plate? Oh. She's so sweet. Oh, chicken. All right. Okay. okay, this is also hard just based on the outside. Oh man, this is gonna be tricky, isn't it? Oh, the inside is very slippery. Mm. Here, get a feel of that. Get a feel of that. I have my own. No, but feel I, I don't think a finger Feel of the chicken! Where is it? Right, right here, here, here. Feel that. Feel that, feel that inside bit. This is so wrong. Do you feel it? I do. It's sticky, right? Mm-hmm. It's different. My guess is this is probably the toaster. Toaster oven. It means toaster oven. We did not cook these on a toaster. That would be stupid. Why didn't we try the toaster as well? <laughs> it's not as good as the first one. I agree, the first one was better. This just felt like it was, the inside was cooked separately from the outside, is the best way to put it. It doesn't really have any flavor either. It feels like you're tasting chicken without tasting the chicken. I think you might have accidentally given me chicken-shaped styrofoam. Have you eaten a lot of styrofoam to know what it tastes like? I have, I have. Okay. This is very crunchy. It's a little too crunchy for me. It doesn't taste great. It's just a very middle-of-the-road kind of chicken. Okay, well, next one. This is the proper way to spend Easter. I okay. agree. Ooh. Ooh, okay, this one's moister. Ooh, oh, oh, it's so slippery. Oh, based on how wet it feels, I almost want to guess microwave. I haven't even tasted it yet, but it's very squishy. You know, I'm between microwave and pressure cooker on this one. I have done microwave to cook everything in the laziest ways possible. This tastes like a lazy attempt. I, I am very familiar with lazy attempts. This is probably lower on my scale than the other chicken. It doesn't taste worse. It well, the other one had a crunchy outside at least. Yeah. It just wasn't cohesive. It's like if a dog came up and just drooled all over your chicken and yeah. you let it sit for like three hours. Yeah. That's what this tastes like. Makes me never want to microwave chicken ever again. Well, uh, yeah, I think this is the one Rolly and I both agree on. I think this is probably the microwave. Yeah. Next, please. Okay. Okay. Oh. Chicken number four. Oh! <laughs> oh, <laughs> God, it's so wet! <laughs> this is disgusting! That, that, that has to be the, the pressure this cooker. This is the pressure cooker. Oh, my God! <laughs> you know what, though? <laughs> it's so hard to get past the texture. Oh, my God, it's literally <laughs> so slimy! Like, can, where's the camera? Can you hear this? Getting it all over there. It, it really sounds like 
I, I'm not even gonna say what that sounded like. Um, oh my god. This is 100% the pressure. Oh man, it's so wet. <laughs> oh god. Why am I still eating it though? Because <laughs> we're hungry. This is what I assume wet cat food tastes like. You know what? That's probably what it's reminding me of. There was that one time I ate an entire wet cat. This is this is literally just wet cat food. It has no consistent like there's no substance here. It it is it is just it, it it's mush. I'm just trying to remember what this tastes like because it tastes very familiar to me. Yeah, I, I really and it's not the cat food. I was I was kidding about the cat food. Were you? I was. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna take this gross. Yeah, yeah I'm perfectly fine if you. Does it that look as way. gross as it tasted? Cause it was. Fairly washy. Uh, that's the one. I am 100% certain that I got that one accurate with being the pressure cooker. I will not say that I'm 100% certain because I've seen people do blind food taste tests and say they're 100% certain and they just look dumber. Okay, well, I'm okay with wild. looking dumber because I'm 100% certain that that was the pressure cooker. I really hope for your sake it wasn't, even though we both voted for the same thing. <laughs> okay, now we're back to crunchy. Oh, crunchy! Okay. Uh okay. okay. I'm okay with this. Like, and it's a little bit cooler now because it's been sitting for the longest, but... Well, after tasting this, I can definitely say the first one we had was the best tasting chicken. Yes. Yeah, by far. I'd put this as a second. I would have to agree. And then the, my, the second one we had would be my third. It was not bad. It's really good. It, it is. It tears um, very nicely. It's, it's not as crunchy as I like my chicken to be, but mm -hmm. this one actually has remnants of flavor, whereas the last three did it. Okay, so this one to me is either the oven or the air fryer. Honestly, I think this is probably the oven. Mm. I'm gonna say, based on how good I thought the first one was, this one we just had was the toaster oven, because it was almost there. I'll put it this way. If I had to choose any of these methods to cook my chicken from here on out, I'd probably go with the microwave because it's the fastest. Yeah. But if I actually, if it's a day when if I had time, if I have time and I don't care to, you know, spend time preheating the oven or we'll do whatever the first one was. Definitely whatever the first one was. I'm also okay with the second one and the last one. I am not okay with number three and number four. That soggy mess <laughs> was a poor excuse number four for chicken. Was the worst number three, which I'm pretty sure was the microwave. I prefer not to do that one again, but if it's the microwave, yeah. I will put up with it just because it's the fastest. Yeah. So can we hear the list? Hey Google, change the lights to red. Okay, changing eight lights to red. Okay, so number one was the toaster oven. Really? Wow. Number two was the air fryer. Number two was the air fryer. Yes. Air fryer. Okay. Three was the microwave. Okay, got that. that yeah. Four was of course the pressure cooker. Uh, <laughs> yeah, never making chicken in there. Yeah. <laughs> and oven was number five. Oven was five. Okay, so we. Okay, we, so we our first we're on the right track. Our first choice was the toaster. Huh. And our the air fryer. I mean, I think we put that we as our second. You said the one, that's the one that had like the least amount of taste in it. it you did, yeah. Uh, yeah. Like I said, one, two, and five were the best, but definitely one, I would choose probably one, then five, yeah. then two. Yeah. So toaster oven, then oven, then air fryer. Yeah. None so, of that microwave pressure cooker stuff. So guys, in case you were wondering if whether or not you should cook your Tyson chicken in a pressure cooker, you, you probably shouldn't. Despite what David Bowie and Freddie Mercury thought, under pressure is not the best way to cook your chicken. <laughs> under pressure! Cooking chicken, yeah! Cooking chicken, yeah! Can you give him the pressure cooker chicken again, please? Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure no. a hair just stood up. No, 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 we don't need any of that. I'm gonna... <laughs> it's like the pressure cooker chicken can be used as a form of punishment in our penal system. You can, you We're know, gonna have some more, uh, toaster oven chicken. You should get close-ups of what they look like after, because you can very clearly tell the pressure cooker chicken. What you doing there, Raleigh? Well, as you can see, these are the chickens that we made in the pressure cooker. And we're going straight. They what? It didn't even fall off the plate! That's how wet it is! It's like the mac and cheese at a cafeteria. That's disgusting! Disgusting! Well, 
That was a fun experiment. Now we know where to cook our chicken and where not to. So with that, we're gonna enjoy the rest of our Easter with a cooked chicken this time. Have a good day. Was that from the pressure cooker? No, that's oh too crunchy. Oh my god, it was! Damn it! <laughs> we can do whatever we want to him right now and it will not matter. I'm not sure what's happening, but I hope it was appropriate for camera. <laughs> I can't wait for you to see that when you edit. <laughs>